Hi, I'm Tom Shepstone, and I'm going to do a little uh, video here to explain something interesting I found that illustrates uh, some lessons about wooden pipes and wooden heads. And what I have here is a wooden pipe, and I'm going to talk more about this in a second. Uh, it's actually a gas pipe uh, used to transport natural gas many, many years ago and dug up right out here. This is my office building, and it's an old industrial office building built in the 1930s or so. And uh, it, it was actually preceded by uh, some other activity on this site, the Gurney Elevator Works, which I'll show you a picture of in a minute. But right now, what you see there is a brand new CBS, just a couple years old, and a vacant site between us and them. And it was this, on this location that we found this gas pipe. So now we're going to go up to my other office in this building, and we're going to look at what the site looked, at, looked like before and talk about this pipe and our lessons. Thanks. We're back. Here's my wooden pipe again, and uh, I want to just focus in a little bit more on it, uh, first of all, so everybody understands it. First of all, this is what it looks like from the one end, and you can see how you can look through it, and you can see uh, that it's got a metal band around here, and it's got a, a hole in here that another pipe can go in and connect to it, and then this band tightens it up to make the connection. And you'll also notice it's covered with uh, black tar uh, to obviously uh, make sure that the gas didn't escape through the wood. The wood appears to be a very soft wood. Uh, I would say it's a pine or a hemlock or something. It's some kind of soft wood. And you can see the bore there and uh, all the little details which are rather interesting. And it's in pretty good shape. It was dug up when they were excavating for the new CBS. So I decided to check out this pipe and to do a little research. So obviously I went to my computer. Uh, I googled a uh, wooden gas pipe. And I found reference to a couple of links, including this one from uh, Political Fact, a Politi PolitiFact. And it focused in on uh, a fellow by the name of Bill Maher, which many of you have heard about. He's supposed to be a comedian. Frankly, I think he's more uh, snarky and condescending than anything else. But be that as it may, um, PolitiFact investigated a claim he made. And that claim uh, was highlighted right here, where he said, do you know that we have pipes carrying natural gas in this country? that are made of wood. I'm not joking. You can hear him saying it, right? Real snarky. So anyway, I decided to uh, read the whole article and I went down for further and they exposed where he got that information from and why he was completely wrong. In fact, there are no wooden gas pipes in use today. Uh, and they pointed out that uh, it, it all started with this article put out by uh, NBC News. And this is a lesson why you cannot trust uh, anything that you hear on national uh, mainstream media. Uh, in fact, look at this uh, article. This was from back in uh, 2010, I believe. There was a natural gas explosion out in California. Uh, they did the typical scare story on it and uh, complete with all the details about uh, explosions and uh, fireballs and uh, all this stuff. And the two authors of this report, Garrett Burke and Jason Duran, uh, they're from Associated Press, so NBC News picked this up from the AP. And when I went further down into the article, I found where Bill Maher got his faulty information from. And you'll find it uh, right here. He says, in this article, they say, a few places in Pennsylvania still had wooden gas pipes as of last year, according to officials there. Well, if you go to the PolitiFact article, you'll find out that wasn't true. Uh, the reporters did a lousy job. They went in and uh, talked to some officials at the PUC, and in fact, the PUC never said that at all. They just said that you know people used to use wooden pipes, commented on that fact, and uh, never ever implied that there are any still in use. But that didn't matter because they were trying to create a story, as we know, and uh, they wanted uh, a lot of uh, hype. So they got it. Now, um, if we go back to um, my internet again. I want to show you what the site looked at years ago because I think it's rather interesting. Uh, our site uh, was the former Gurney Elevator Works. Uh, it was here for uh, I think late in the 19th century to through the uh, early 20th century. It was then replaced by some other factories. Uh, our office building is located down here in the left hand corner today uh, of this site and, and now we have a CVS there. So you can see what happened here. We, um, uh, we have a case of uh, a fascinating little piece of artifact, a little artifact uh, that the landlord of this building gave me a few weeks ago that uh, I think just tells a great story. It tells the story of how things used to be done 
And it also tells the story of how news is made today and how ignorance is made and how we have not just wooden gas pipes that are no longer in use, but also a lot of wooden heads in the media. Thanks. That's our story for today.